In Genesis chapter 3, we read that Eve and Adam sinned against God and God was uh, searching for them, looking to see them in, back in their place. They knew they were naked after the serpent beguiled them and told them to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the same tree that God told them not to eat from. As a result of disobeying God, they're, they're, uh, they found out that uh, they were naked. The cloth of righteousness had removed from them. And they began to hide themselves. And God came and said, Adam, where are you? And this is a very uh, profound question. And God is asking us today, where are you? I'm, I've been looking for you at the place that you should have been. You see, God has placed us to watch over our souls and to bear fruit of righteousness unto us. And our garments must be the uh, garment of righteousness. We should clothe ourselves with, um, with love and peace and joy and patience. Clothe ourselves with the garment of salvation. Now, if we don't have anything um, on our spiritual body and we become naked, sin will strip us from the presence of God. It will strip us from the love of God. It will strip us from the patience and the goodness and the faith. And it will strip us away from our garment and make us naked. Now, if you are naked, God said, I will tie your hand and feet and throw you out. And there are many people who want to come in the presence of God without any spiritual clothes. Dear friends, that is a big mistake. You need to make sure that the door is closed from Satan because Satan will come in and his purpose is to strip you naked from your spiritual clothes. And if you don't have your spiritual clothes, then you cannot stand before you, the presence of God. God will ask, where are you? Because he can't find you. Without holiness, no one shall see God. And if we don't have a garment of holiness on our, on our spiritual bodies, you cannot, God cannot find you. And so God will drive you out of his presence. We need to understand this. So we understand that Adam and Eve did not have the garment of righteousness on them. They were naked and God threw them out of the garden. And today... Um, many people are basically out of the garden because the, uh, their cloth is, um, is not on them. And um, after God threw Adam and Eve out of the garden, it is quite interesting that the God will protect the garden with his word, the sword of the spirit. And so for you to protect your soul from Satan, you need to have the sword wheeling in front of your eyes. The Bible said your, your eyes your eyes and your ears, they are gateways to your soul. Um, we must watch what we see. We must watch what we hear. The Bible said guard your heart, right? Because out of it flows the issues of life. And you only can guard your heart with the sword of the Spirit before your eyes, which is the Word of God. Keep the Word of God in your mind. Keep it before your eyes. Be careful what you watch. Be careful what you hear. Be careful of the things that get into you. And um, it is hard, but if you, it's the word of God is the only tool that can keep Satan out of the garden of your soul. I hope that we take this very seriously and watch over our souls. Well, good dear friends.